we are here at the supermarket and I'm going to ask Dora to pick out five ingredients and then I'm going to try and create a dish from it. Um, yeah. Okay, choosing chicken. Alright, second ingredient. What are you going to choose? Okay, we've got some onions. Right. Third ingredient. Cherry tomatoes. Okay. Okay. So, fourth item, we have mixed salad leaf. Right, okay. Doesn't really give me a lot to work with. Like, we've got no, uh, no carbs in there or anything, but... So, the final item Dora's chosen is soy. So, I've got to create a dish using chicken, onions, cherry tomatoes, salad, and soy. It's going to be interesting. So, these, these are the five items that Dora's chosen for me to cook with. And she's currently quite hungry at the moment, so I'm going to have to be quite quick with it. So, I need to do something with chicken, a bit of salad, onions, cherry tomatoes, and soy. And, uh, Dora actually said I'm allowed to use some, um, some herbs and spices to make it taste a little bit better. Uh, these are like stuff that we've actually got. Uh, but yeah, the main components will be chicken, onion, cherry tomatoes, and soy. So, yeah, let's get cracking. I've got no idea what I'm gonna do. Let's just do it. Right, my first thought is to make like a, uh, a tomato salsa. So I'm going to use one onion. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm quite limited uh, to the equipment that I've got in this kitchen. As you can see, all I've got is the stove. No oven. So I'm gonna have to make do with what I've got. So I'm gonna put some oil in the pan. So leave that on the simmer. Some diced onion first. Into the oil. I've got some garlic powder here. Let's put a little bit of garlic powder in with the onion. It's going to take about between five and ten minutes until the onion is quite translucent. So I've got some cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to slice them straight in half. So cherry tomatoes, just be sliced in half. Then it's going to go straight into the pan. Pinch of salt. So I'm going to make a um, like a tomato vinaigrette, a tomato and paprika vinaigrette, uh, just to coat through the salad. Not going to need a lot. I'm going to add some paprika. About two tablespoons of paprika in the, uh, the tomato sauce to mix it up. Then I'm just going to slowly add the oil. to the tomatoes to the tomato sauce and that is the tomato and paprika vinaigrette so that's going to be going through my salad and then <coughs> with the soy I'm going to make a um, a soy bechamel which is basically like a, a cream sauce Yep, so my tomato sauce is almost ready. I do have some tomato paste as well, which I'm just gonna add in, which is just completely gonna elevate the salsa. So that's the tomato salsa ready. Then I'm just gonna leave that to one side. So I've got two chicken breasts here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna utilize the soy. I'm going to coat the chicken. I'm going to coat it in uh, 
and garlic powder, the chicken breast. Chicken in the garlic powder, coat it in the soy, and then coat it in the breadcrumbs. And then you want to repeat the process. So now I've Very much again. <clears throat> so I have my tomato salsa, which I've utilised the onion and the tomatoes. Uh, I've got a tomato and paprika vinaigrette, and I've got a garlic breaded uh, chicken. The good thing about this, like, it doesn't take long, and it's it's not too complicated. Like, I feel like anybody can do it. So simple and easy. I'm going to put some oil in the pan and keep it on a medium heat. You can cook it directly from the pan, there's no need for an oven. I just want to hear that nice sizzle. It's always important to, when you put the breast in, put it away from you. Try not to put the breast in towards you because if some oil splatters up, it's going to burn you. The, I'm probably going to Seal it off on one side for around a minute. So I've just got a little bit of butter here. I'm just going to add a little bit of butter to help along with the cooking process. And if you're going to shake the pan, um, you don't want to be taking it off the heat and then shaking it. That uh, doesn't make you a cool chef or anything like that, no. Keep it on the heat. I'm going to turn it. Keep it on the heat. So what basically what you should have is going to flip it, the beautiful colour on this side, flip that side. So I'm just gonna turn the heat on the lowest I can and I'm just gonna get a lid. Yeah, I'm gonna place this over the top just to help along with the lid for a few minutes here and then I'm gonna Flip the chicken breast round and then do that again for another two minutes and it should be about ready. So I'm left with this at the moment. Now I'm going to put the lid back on. For another around minute and a half to two minutes. Again, keeping it on a, a low temperature. That's how you want it to look, ideally. Got around 40 grams of butter here. I'm just going to melt down the butter. Ideally, it would be better if you were to use a whisk. But unfortunately, I'm short on utensils in the place that I'm staying at. So I'm just going to use a wooden spoon. So equal amounts of butter and flour. And this is called a roux. So we're making a roux. So you want to cook out the flour in the butter and to slowly add to the butter and the flour, continuously mixing. No need to keep it on a high heat, otherwise, otherwise it'll start to catch and burn. So now, I'm going to add some seasoning. I've purposely made this into a very thick uh, sauce. So now that is ready, I can start to assemble plate food that I've done. So. on top of the chicken. Again, it's, it's a very simple dish uh, with the ingredients that Paul chose for me today. Uh, and it's something that anybody can do. It's not overly technical or anything like that. So 
and I've put some salad into a clean bowl. With the tomato and paprika vinaigrette, I'm just going to pour a little bit through the salad. Like that. Try not to squeeze any of the leaf because you don't want you don't want it to be quite limp. You want it to still be quite alive. So you want to run it through your fingers, just like this. Put a little bit of salad on the side of the plate. There's, I've created a dish, which is a very simple dish. It's a, a garlic breaded chicken uh, with a soy bechamel, served with a, a tomato salsa, with a, a tomato and paprika vinaigrette salad. It's something very simple which anybody can do and this is the end result. So with the five ingredients, what was it? Chicken, yeah. cherry tomatoes, onion, soy salad. and salad. So I've done a, a garlic breaded chicken with a, a soy bechamel sauce served with a tomato salsa mm -hmm. and a tomato and paprika vinaigrette salad and that's the end result mm. Mm. Amazing. is it really or are you just saying that mm. he tried it with the sauce and the salsa Good? Yeah. That's why girls, you should choose a chef 